Thoughts from the train. My parks is over. Parks and Recreation is a show for the history books, or at least television majors' textbooks. It never quite knew if it would come back at the end of the season, even though it was clear to every person who watched it that it could last forever. In the past, sitcoms have struggled to find that place between heartfelt and hilarious. See the Friends and The Office's series finales, much more emotional than they were laugh-out-loud funny. That's not to say they weren't amazing finales, because they were, but Parks did it better. Parks has always been a show that very effortlessly balanced the comedy and the real human stories. A minor character's death can inspire an episode of a beautiful memorial and burnt off eyebrows, advances in a career and John Ralphio, goodbyes are filled with tears and laughter while reunions are filled with hugs and making out on a museum floor. It's clear to me that no other team of writers loves their characters as much as the Parks writers do. They wanted so much that all their characters were lovable and happy and real, and they did that flawlessly. The characters aren't flawless, mind you, but that's the whole real part. There's never been a character I have related to more than Leslie Nope. She is smart and persistent and busy and bossy and deeply emotional. She is a smart, pretty blonde, which is somewhat of a rarity in Hollywood. She's unapologetically enthusiastic about everything she does, and she stands for no inequality. Leslie Nope is the well-rounded role model I needed when I was growing up. She came to me when I was 13, and thank God she did, because I wouldn't be who I am if she weren't who she was. I learned the most valuable lessons from Nope. Leslie taught me to be kind, speak my mind, and take shit from no one. To learn from mistakes I won't ever stop making, the journey is never done because you'll keep living and loving and learning and growing. The secret of life is never quite knowing what's coming next. Do your best, but make room for the rest of the people that keep your heart pounding. When you work, work hard. When you love, love harder. Be brave every day, and when someone's loud, be louder. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to die, pick yourself up and try again. Nothing lasts forever, but every hard time can make you a better worker, better friend, better lover. Don't pretend you're not inspired by yourself. Don't pretend you don't need help. Learn to ask, learn to give, learn to love, learn to live your life. Be kind, speak your mind, and take shit from no one. This show came in with a whisper and went out with a bang. Thank you, Parks and Recreation. It's been a great six years. I'll see you guys later.